Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is tomato soup, which is in Swedish tomatsoppa. Tomatsoppa. I'm gonna eat that for lunch today and tomato soup is one of my all-time favorite meals ever. It's just so delicious. I love it when Nicholas does it and he does his own soup with like fresh tomatoes and such. Fun little thing, but you know, in Sweden you can purchase soup on jars and such, but it's like plastic containers, so they are a little bit more, I don't know, they feel a little bit more fresh. I was addicted to those. <laughs> so a couple of years ago I actually worked nights, and every time after work I would usually go into my grocery store, pick one of those soups, and then eat them before I went to bed in the morning, and Niklas was like, you need to stop buying them, you're fucking addicted, and I was like, yeah. But they're so delicious. Then they discontinue them, so I never eat it anymore. But today I'm gonna eat it for lunch, which is awesome. So today I'm gonna do my weekly Will I Buy It video that I upload every single Thursday, or usually every single Thursday anyway. This video is inspired by Samantha March, and uh, she has a community playlist that I will link down below. But let's get started. Oh, 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 I did film this look, and I used We Can Start talking about that first. I was going to talk about something else, but let's talk about something that is very, very exciting. Kaleidos Cosmetics is launching two new palettes and this is an expansion of their Futurism collection. So they launched a Futurism collection that included three palettes a couple of months ago and I have a video on that that I'll link right up here in case you want to go ahead and check it out. <laughs> You know, I cannot live without a fan. I cannot film without a fan. So I'm so sorry that you hear that. Uh, my microphone is absolute shit. I need to purchase a new one. But anyway, I did film with these two. So it kind of depends. I don't like to publish videos back to back when I uh, when I sit down and film and edit them. But I'll probably have this up on, or on Sunday or Monday, depending on how I feel. Anyway, they did expand and they are launching two new limited edition palettes that will launch on August... 13th and they retail for $24 each. So I'm just gonna show you guys this one first. This is the Futurism Electro Turquoise palette, which looks like this. Kaleidos has a way of working with colors to me, but they are they are new shimmer formulas, so stay tuned and uh, you have to see my review to know what I think about them thought about them, think about them. And then my personal favorite, just when it comes to like colors and such, is the uh, Futurism VR Neon palette. Looks like this on the packaging and then you open it up and it looks like this. It's absolutely beautiful. So these two are shimmers and then the rest are mattes. And that is what I've used today. I've used every single shade except for the green. I did a tutorial with both of these palettes that will be in the review video and then I probably have some tutorials up on Instagram already so if you don't follow me there please do. I did showcase these on my Instagram and then I also did a little cool in my personal opinion anyway. I did a cool little swatch video. I thought that that was pretty cool anyway but maybe that's just me. <laughs> Let me know what you th think about them. I did get sent these in PR I should say so it's kind of obvious that I'm not gonna purchase them because I already have them. But yeah, let me know what you think about them and if you're excited. By the way, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much to Kaleidos Cosmetics Makeup, I mean, for sending them to me. Okay, so Anastasia Beverly Hills is doing a collaboration with Jackie Aina. I know a lot of people have strong opinions about her, so I don't really know what Jackie has been up to, I'll say this, but I do know that every time I watch her videos, I do smile, I do laugh, and I have a good time. I do know that she was in some drama with someone of her subscribers called Betty, Betty or Patty or something. I don't really know. <laughs> Let's just talk about the makeup and she did a collaboration with ABH which is on the screen right now. So they did a little palette and first when I saw it I was like hmm cute but not gonna purchase. But I did hear someone on Facebook actually say that Jackie Aina actually took a lot of time trying to 
uh, makeup palette that was very very good for people of color and I that is something that I do want to applaud Jackie on her platform has always been for people of color and she is a great voice in my personal opinion and she has said that ABH palettes can usually look ashy on her and then she cannot use half the palette because they are too light for her so this palette is for women of colors but of course no not just women of colors I'm so so sorry for people of colors but anyone can of course purchase it I am white but I would still be able to use this palette she did work a lot on the undertones and such which I'm sure that many of you guys will um, really really appreciate uh, as a white woman I don't really know exactly the struggles that people of color can have when it comes to undertones and stuff like that so I think that that is really really good so I think that the shade is sponsored looks absolutely incredible the shade Shookington seems to be very very similar to Celestial in the Norvina palette I think that Wigglies looks beautiful I think that the palette overall looks very very beautiful and I feel like this is a little bit more for me I would have this like a work palette I would have this as a yeah as a work palette and I'm not saying that I won't purchase this because I might but at the moment no I'm not gonna purchase it I think that this is gonna be something that I will purchase maybe in many many months if I see a lot of people continuing to talk about them ABH is very I, I feel like I have a hair here so I do apologize but uh, ABH is very very good on not having limited edition be very very limited edition if that makes any sense they usually give you a lot of time to think about it and to really really uh, look at a lot of reviews and then you can go ahead and purchase it if you want to which I as a consumer really really appreciate I do congratulate Jackie for this collaboration I think that it's really really fun for her obviously uh, and I do think that she did a good job but not really sure if I'm gonna purchase it so this is a limited edition palette of course and it's gonna retail for $45 one thing I will say though is that ABH has kind of picked up on this release 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 they aren't releasing as many products as makeup revolution or Colourpop or you know but they are still launching a lot so Sigma is also releasing a palette that it's called Enchanted and when I first saw the packaging, because we could see the packaging a few days before seeing the inside, and I was like, purple palette, Sigma, you're so far behind. But then when I saw on the inside, you know, at first glance, when you look at it, it seems to be kind of dull. But when I started looking at each and every shade, I was like, okay, I don't have that shade. I don't have a shade like that. I felt like it was real, really beautiful. And I feel like they took took it to the next level when it comes to shimmers I've been on a kick with like shimmers that really stands out that has a lot of glitter in them has a lot of like different dimension to it and I feel like this does I feel like this definitely does and I think it looks beautiful I don't really know if I'm gonna purchase it however but for once I'm going to promote my code that I have with Sigma um I think I am one of the worst affiliates at Sigma I don't sell hardly anything for Sigma which is probably why they don't sell me anything or send me they sell me shit but they don't send me shit but if you did want to use my code it is listed down below I think it is Paulina Beauty in all caps so if you did want to purchase from Sigma you can this palette is however going to launch on august 13th and it uh, retails for 49 dollars and you do get a dual ended brush now we can talk a little bit more about this which is from makeup revolution this is the conceal and hydrate foundation and concealer so this foundation comes with a pump instead of a doe foot applicator i have seen that you can purchase this at Ulta and at Superdrug. I did not purchase it. I was this close yesterday of purchasing it on Superdrug, but I realized that 
I think in a way that the company that reached out to me said that they were going to send me it. So I thought that I'm just going to save the money and I'm going to wait and hope that it shows up sometime. It still hasn't shown up. So I'm kind of just waiting. I did, however, purchase their new powders that we talked about last week. So I ordered two of the powders last night. I ordered the light pink one and the light lavender one. And I do have to say that last week I actually mentioned that I did have a code, not a code, but a link with Beauty Bay and Revolution Urban Decay. I have with a bunch of different people, but like the Revolution and Beauty UK one, no, not Beauty UK one, the um, Beauty Bay one is the one that I use myself. You know, whenever I shop, I use my link. And thank you to everyone. I saw that it went like from this, and then I purchased something, and then I purchased something, and it went like, and then you guys started using it, and it went like, okay sorry i've been here for a while <laughs> so the foundation retails for 12 dollars and the concealer retails for 10 dollars which is a good price i don't know how much they contain i don't think i can see that right now but if i have gotten my package i will have it on the screen or in the description box if i have already edited this video i think it comes the foundation comes in like 50 shades Ooh, 50 shades of conceal and hydrate let's talk a little bit about this foundation and concealer because i am very very excited about this and if i wouldn't be sent this i would purchase it so if this company doesn't send it to me i will go ahead and purchase it myself and i might purchase the abh foundation but i'm not really sure so it comes with 50 shades of gray the foundation and concealer is infused with hyaluronic acid it is a hydrating formula it is medium to full buildable coverage however i have heard them say that this is a much much lighter foundation than the other ones so i'm not really sure about that but it says that it has a radiant to natural finish it's vegan it's cruelty free of course because everything i talk about on my channel is cruelty free it has a pump applicator and that's it so yeah if you are going to purchase from revolution's website please use my link maybe they can notice me and send me more we only saw eyeshadow palettes coming out and now i feel like brands are kicking it off with foundations but i think it's a great tactic to actually release a lot of foundations now because now it starts to get a little bit more bearable to be outside before it's been very very unbearable but now it feels like it's getting a little bit better and it's you know even i can use foundations uh, right now like from time to time i don't love it but i do it from time to time just half a pump but still so milk is another brand that is releasing a stick foundation and you guys know they're super duper sketchy milk i'm so disappointed in milk because americans can purchase milk and then milk launched on cult beauty a couple of months ago if you remember but they only shipped to the uk and ireland so thank you for that milk thank you don't know why but it is so i'm not gonna spend too much time talking about this they're launching a flex foundation stick and it's coming to cult beauty it contains 36 shades and no i'm not gonna purchase this because i can't i really want to have the milk makeup like bronzer that everyone is talking about can i purchase it though no and the primer the primer i want the primer but can i purchase it can i no so talking about milk let's talk about melt melt milk milk melt melt is coming out with five new lipsticks that is in a little nude collection and when i saw them i gagged so this retails for 19 dollars, but if you want to purchase the pr box you can do that for 65 dollars i wouldn't use these even if they were sent to me for free if i got this in pr for instance i would give the entire box away to someone else this I'm so so sorry but you guys know I love my pinky nudes and I love nudes that has a little little bit of peach in it this uh-uh one of them looks gray one of them looks like a fucking mustard what I can only talk about what I like and I think that these are absolutely 
the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm so, so sorry, but everyone likes different things and we need to be honest here, okay? I am honest, if you like them, that's fine, but I think that they look like garbage. Another brand that is jumping on the foundation train is Fenty. They are actually also coming out with a hydrating foundation and I am so, so sorry. I love Fenty as a brand, but what's really, really dragging it down is that they are only located at Sephora in Sweden anyway, I don't know how it is in other countries, but but I promise you guys, if Too Faced and like Fenty and some other brands were sold at Beauty Bay or, you know, other websites, I would probably own a lot more from them, but I just hate Sephora in Sweden. I don't always purchase from them. So when I do purchase from them, it is when I'm going to make a sort of kind of very expensive order that is going to give me free shipping because otherwise, the the product is gonna be even more expensive and even when I am placing in larger order, not a larger order, but when I place an order at Sephora, it's usually for one, two or three products and it's going to be a little bit more expensive on the expensive side. Even then, I, f I kind of are a little bit resistant at it. I just don't know, really, really know. I don't like Sephora in Sweden, so I do apologize for that, but it's nothing personal to Sephora, it's just like they're shipping and they never have coupon codes and if they are giving you free products, it's always like from NARS or Benefit and I always get those products and I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with them? I don't use them, I don't wanna use them and all I wanna do is bin them because I don't wanna sell them to someone else because what if someone else gets really, really excited and loves that Benefit or NARS mascara and they wanna go ahead and purchase a new one instead of purchasing a cruelty-free one? That is just the way it goes in my head. <laughs> But the foundation is anyway going to launch, or retail I mean, for $35. And then they're also coming up with a pro hydrating phone primer for $32. And then they are giving us a Kabuki Buff Foundation Brush brush, 115 for $36. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> no. I'm not gonna purchase it. No, I'm not gonna purchase this. I would much rather get the Revolution one or the ABH one, or the Urban Decay one, or the Dose of Color one. <laughs> There's so many foundations I want, but I only have like one face. Ugh. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is from Lunatic Labs. And I have to say that I usually like the products that they come out with. I think that they are pretty cool, but it's not products that I kind of see myself use a lot. But I think that the packaging is super cool and I love the aesthetic of the brand, but it's just not really a brand for me, if that makes any sense. But they have come out with a new eyeshadow palette and I just, uh, I don't see why they did this. This is the Take My Heart palette. It's available now and it retails for $39. When I see the packaging, I think about the pictures that you put on cigarettes and like this is what's happening to you if you are going to smoke. It's not very pleasant to look at, which I don't know if they were going for, but I also feel like when you opened it up, the insides are just not really what I would imagine is in a heart palette. There's not a really bright red. I feel like a it really, that bloody Valentine might be be a blood shade but i think that there should still be a blood shade when you know blood is fresh as well i don't see why this would be a heart palette to me no i don't get it so confusing i think it's butt ugly i think it's absolute crap and uh, i'm so sorry to the brand no i'm not i'm allowed to speak my mind and i just don't really find it to be very appealing looking not in my eyes anyway maybe you do but mm, not in my eyes. So I have complained and complained and complained. And I have tried to make you use my codes. So you're free to unsubscribe because I am officially a booty guru.
that is all that I had to share with you guys today. I'm gonna go now and pick up my new phone. I'm so excited. I'll probably show it to you on Instagram, but when you see this video, that is gone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!